Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ox Talks. It is Friday, June 21st, 2024. Hope you're having a fantastic and a productive day today, the end of the work week. I took a personal day today. I'm here at the office entering some emails and, and or responding to emails and returning a few calls but I'm in uh, my casual attire. I needed to take care of some personal stuff today, get the back worked on. I needed to get an, an eye exam completed, which I did. I got my vitamin shot today. Just did a few things uh, to take care of, uh, of me. And that's just sometimes very necessary, right? For all of us to kind of unplug from that uh, nine to five if we can and, and take care of other items that uh, need to be taken care of. So thanks for being here. I'll keep the show uh, relatively short today. I just wanted to touch base uh, with a few things that I, I thought were important to share with all of you. And most importantly, please, speaking of sharing, please share these videos uh, with as many people as you can. Please go back if you didn't watch my two shows from last weekend on the foreclosure and share those with as many young people as you possibly can. People in their 20s, their 30s, even their 40s, okay? Uh, this is something that... I, I want to get the word out and continue to educate people, help people to understand not only what's going on on a daily basis with the economy, which most of us can, uh, can see uh, with our own uh, two eyes, but also give you personal stories and some unique perspective from you know, what I do every day here at the law practice. So let me um, start by saying I was going home, driving home last night and Actually, my daughter was driving the car and I was in the passenger seat and we're, we're, we're driving down a, a fairly busy street here uh, in, in Palm Desert and one of the one of the main one of the main streets. And there's a, a lady next to us a little bit in front of us. And I noticed that she has as we were kind of pulling up, I noticed that both of her side mirrors and she's going, I don't know, 55, 60 miles an hour. Both of her side mirrors are closed. Uh, they're retracted, so obviously she has, you know, she has electronic, uh, electrical side mirrors that can be open and closed. Obviously, they're supposed to be open, uh, especially if you are in a moving vehicle, so you can see right what's going on around you. So this lady, I looked, I looked, we got up to the stop sign. I looked in the in the uh, into her window. Her window, uh, the glass was tinted, but I could see her. She was older, you know, maybe I don't know, 60s, 70s, but just didn't have a clue what was going on. Obviously, could not have she wanted to check her surroundings from her mirrors because they were folded against her side, her her uh, passenger and her driver's side uh, windows. But, you know, I was thinking about it this morning and I had to laugh because I thought, you know, isn't that a, um, you know, I don't know if I, what is the word analogy uh, for, for life right now and, and how most people are walking around. Uh, and I mean completely blind. Uh, no idea what's going on around them. Not a care in the world. Everyone's out living their best life with their mirrors, uh, their side mirrors folded in while they're driving 60 miles an hour down a main road, right? Um, not being careful, not being diligent. Again, no idea what is happening around them. And, you know, I, 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 thought, I thought, well, the right, no, I, I, actually the word I wanted to convey was metaphor. Uh, metaphor for what we see around us and all the zombies uh, every day, a day in and day out, right? Uh, the same zombies that are telling you that everything is fine. Uh, just look at the stock market, uh, that everything is going to continue to be rosy. There will be uh, no uh, difficult economic times. Uh, no one is going to get laid off. Uh, the stock market's not going to crash. So all these fairy tales, right? Uh, the rates are going to be cut real soon and everything's going to become affordable again. So you can run out and, uh, and, 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 and take more debt out that you can't afford to repay. Again, I know this all sounds, I'm being facetious. I really don't typically use sarcasm. I'm not a big fan of sarcasm, but uh, my apologies there. I am being facetious. I am being sarcastic. But the side mirrors folded in. What a metaphor for what I observe 95% of people are, uh, are like, right? And, and, uh, and just not paying attention, not taking uh, warning signs of what is happening around them. And guess what? As we all know, uh, you cannot prepare for what's coming 
if you're a minute or a day or a week or a month uh, too late, okay? You have to get your things in order ahead of time. And even today, look, my, my prescription, I know it's been weakening. I've been delaying going to get my glasses, my backup pair of glasses. You know, it's, uh, it's something you have to do, right? Because if there's an emergency, if one pair goes down, uh, what, whatever it is, you have to have, it's just like having your food supplies topped off and having sufficient uh, resources, having your water, having your security. Uh, you know, all these things that that we discuss on this channel, and I'm sure you see on many other channels as well here on, on YouTube. Uh, and most people aren't doing it, right? Having some hard assets uh, set aside, having some, some gold, some silver, some assets that are outside the system, that don't depend on uh, your computer firing up. Uh, or you being able to access your wallet, whatever it is. I, I saw today a story, a continued story, that this uh, this continued hack on the um, a cyber attack or hack on the auto uh, dealership uh, software systems is completely crippling these dealerships from buying and selling vehicles. I mean, thousands of dealerships across the country, from what I read briefly a few minutes ago, are being impacted by this. They thought it was solved a day or so ago, and then there's another round of, uh, of hacks or, or, um, or attacks on their system. So again, look, you know, do you have the ability to maintain what you have to maintain, to take care of your obligations if all of these systems failed, right? If your ATM didn't work, uh, if your computer uh, and your internet uh, wouldn't fire up with your all your bank information on your phone, where you can do immediate uh, transfers of money, can you live? Can you provide uh, for your family? Can you buy food? Can you buy gasoline and do all these things that you need to think? Well, you're gonna you're gonna have to be able to do. So keep that in mind. I just I won't ramble too much. I hope you see that the humor in the uh, in, in the side mirror, the side mirror story, uh, because I, I don't know if I've ever seen that before, uh, maybe one, maybe once or twice. But uh, anyway, I'll move on. The metals took a big hit today. Uh, what did I do? I went out and bought some silver. Okay, I picked up another 10 ounce bar at the local coins, uh, local uh, metals place here because it was down, right? So, uh, but I'm a strong hands. I'm not weak hands. Uh, I, if I see a dip in price, I know where this thing is going uh, medium term and long term, all right? Or what, from my personal opinion, right? So when I see uh, a dip, I go and I accumulate more. I add to my, my physical holdings position. So if you guys did that today, uh, comment below. I believe the reason why metals took a hit is based upon the uh, the PMI data that was released this morning, okay, uh, at least in part. And uh, PMI, if you don't know, is the uh, Purchasing Managers Index. Uh, and, and what it is, it's, uh, it's used to assess the uh, performance of services companies uh, in the United States, okay? And uh, what the article at Zero Hedge said this morning, it says, after... Um, the morning's ugly picture across European PMIs, preliminary June US PMIs were also expected to decline modestly, but remain in expansion above 50 for both manufacturing and services indexes. It says, but in the face of um, puking US hard macro data, the soft survey data surprised to the upside with the manufacturing at 51.7 versus 51.3 uh, prior and 51.0 expected, so it increased, okay? And services at 26 month highs at 55.1, uh, 54.8 prior and 54.0 expected. So hotter than expected, the, you know, you can Google this, research it. Uh, that is interpreted, gonna be interpreted as inflationary. And don't forget, the Fed is watching all this stuff, guys. So all you, uh, you know, market, or should, uh, all you interest rate uh, cut uh, people out there, look, are you? Are we going to get a gratuitous cut in September uh, before the election? Look, I wouldn't be surprised. But on a uh, uh, even on a short, medium term trajectory, I just don't see in the face of this data uh, these rates being cut substantially. All right, and that's going to continue to keep pressure on everything. Right credit card uh, interest rates, uh, mortgage rates, 
uh, everything that people are having to borrow and, and pay and pay uh, money for on loans is going to continue to stay elevated, all right? And that puts pressure on people that are just trying to make ends meet. So again, I, my take as just a, a, a lay person here, uh, not, not an economist, uh, not a financial expert, but I did see that that immediately had an impact. When Matt News was released this morning, it immediately had an impact on the metals prices, okay? Because uh, if inflation stays hot and the, and the, the, the rate uh, cut odds keep getting reduced, you know, that usually works against metals. We all know where it's going to go uh, if you're following, if you follow this channel and other channels like mine uh, in the, the, you know, the trajectory I think is going to obviously in the short term, well, medium term and long term for sure, uh, be is going to skyrocket in terms of these, these hard asset prices. So keep that in mind. I want to talk about Forever 21. Uh, I always on my radar because my, my kids like to, to shop there. And I saw uh, an article on CNBC, Forever 21 seeks rent concessions as fast uh, fashion brand faces financial woes. I pulled up some research on the company back in 2019. They had like 540 locations. Uh, they had 43,000 employees. I guess they filed chapter 11 bankruptcy in late 2019. And the best information I could find right now is they're down to about 20,000 employees. Uh, well, comment below. It was 43. It was 43,000 in 2019. I believe it's about 20,000 right now. And there were some stores that were closed, but still a pretty formidable store. It's one of those stores that you often see in malls. Uh, you know, we have one in our mall here. There's a big multi-level uh, one of those, I believe, uh, at, in Las Vegas at the forum shops. So they're still around. Uh, and but look, at, they're in trouble. They're in more trouble. And you know, what does this mean for the you know, 20 or 30,000 people that still are working for those stores. If they're asking for rent concessions, that means they cannot pay the bills as they're coming due. And so uh, what was once thought to be a recovery out of bankruptcy does not appear to be working. It says Forever 21 is asking landlords for a break on rent as the legacy fast fashion players sales decline and it struggles to keep up with um, savvier competitors CNBC has learned. The retailer, which has more than 380 stores now in the U.S., has asked some landlords to cut its rent as much as 50%. While the company is facing financial difficulties, it's yet to hire advisors and isn't considering a second bankruptcy protection filing, the people said. It's working to restructure its many leases so it can cut costs. Um, so obviously they're talking about how there's saturation in this industry, uh, the retail struggles, it says retailer struggles come um, after it filed, which we just discussed, uh, for uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2019, all right? When the company sought bankruptcy protection, it had more than, oh, 800 locations globally, all right? So hundreds of stores, uh, it did close, and uh, look at people are going to lose their jobs. Okay, this thing could be another uh, another blackout soon where you just see they've all closed. The landlords aren't willing to work with them. They have too, their debts exceed their assets by or the liabilities exceed the assets simply by too much. All right. To allow it to remain operating. Again, if you work for Forever 21 or you have any family members that do. All right. Uh, start your own business, guys. Think about a side hustle. Try to get yourself self-sustaining. I know it's repetitive on this channel a lot, but you know I talk about it behind me here about a hundred corporate books are next to me here for businesses that I have formed for clients, from doctors, attorneys, uh, accountants, uh, contractors, developers, uh, you name it, chiropractors, right? All types of businesses, all right? Retail businesses, restaurants. Uh, Obviously, my business is a law is a law practice. I'm sitting here uh, in this today at my office because look, uh, it's my business, so I can uh, show up, you know, how I want, and I don't have to answer to anybody except, you know, uh, my own standards. And that is something that all of you should be considering as we continue to see stories come out about uh, more financial difficulties plaguing uh, retailers. Uh, plaguing restaurants, uh, plaguing a lot, thousands and thousands of mom and pop operations, okay? It's going to continue to worsen. 15 minutes today, 
ran a little longer than I wanted to. Thanks for letting me rant here on Friday afternoon. I'll try to touch base this weekend with all of you. And uh, I'm going to leave here in about an hour to get my workout in, my Friday afternoon workout. Hope all of you will do some kind of activity today if you haven't already done so. Get some steps in, do some strength training, uh, you know, hit the ground, do some push-ups, some sit-ups, things like that. I watch the uh, the calories, uh, right? Um, calories in, calories out. Not all calories are the same, as I was reminded by uh, one of uh, my viewers uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, just make smart decisions with uh, the food, okay, guys? It's very important that we try to maintain physical conditioning, right? Uh, and and as a country, uh, as our local communities, just stay healthier and be stronger and more resilient for tough times that we know are unfolding right in front of us. All right. Uh, God bless you guys. Please have a safe and healthy weekend. If I don't see you, I'll see you on Monday. Bye.